Hello EV fans, welcome back to EV's gallery. Hope you guys are doing well. From the latest industry updates to in-depth reviews of the hottest EV models, we are here to keep you charged with electrifying news and insights. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. The trio of US-listed Chinese electric vehicle makers, Li Auto, Xping, and Neo have already communicated their sales forecasts for 2024 to their supply chains. According to a report from local media outlet 36 Krona, Li Auto and Xping are optimistic about significant sales growth in the coming year, while Neo is adopting a more cautious approach. As of the report, Neo has projected a 2024 sales forecast of more than 230,000 units, Xping aims for more than 280,000 units, and Li Auto sets an ambitious target of more than 800,000 units. Notably, these forecasts do not include specific subbrands such as NEO's codenamed Alps and Xping's codenamed Mona. Car companies typically send their annual sales forecasts to their supply chains in the fourth quarter of each year. This practice allows suppliers to prepare for material, capacity, staff, and financial requirements for the upcoming year. While car companies often provide optimistic forecasts, supply chain partners make judgments based on the competitiveness of the models and the company's operating results. The 36 Krona report emphasizes that these figures are more indicative than definitive, as car companies may adjust their forecasts based on market conditions. Despite this, the forecasts provide a reference point for understanding the company's growth expectations. NEO's forecast of over 230,000 units for 2024 is considered more practical than its 2023 forecast of 240,000 units. The report notes that NEO delivered 16,074 vehicles in October, marking a 59.8% year-over-year increase and a 2.77% month-over-month increase. If NEO maintains October's delivery rate for the remaining two months of 2023, it would achieve 158,000 units for the year. The 2024 forecast, therefore, represents an approximate 50% increase, with NEO relying on its existing eight models to support next year's sales. The report highlights NEO's ongoing restructuring and optimization efforts, including a reduction in investment in marginal businesses. With small and rapid iterations across its operations, the report suggests that NEO has the potential to maintain monthly sales of around 20,000 units in 2024. NEO's subbrand Alps is anticipated to contribute significantly to sales, with its first model scheduled for release in the second half of 2024. This model will be the first based on the NT 3.0 platform and is expected to offer more flexible pricing. For Xpeng, the company delivered 101,445 vehicles in the January-October period, representing a 2.13% year-over-year decrease. However, October saw a record 20,002 vehicle deliveries, a 292.12% YOY increase and a 30.65% MOM increase. If Xpeng sustains this performance, it is projected to deliver 140,000 units in 2023, aligning with the company's own forecast of a 100% increase in deliveries for 2024. In addition to the existing G3i, P5, P7 series, G9, and G6 models, Xpeng plans to introduce new models in 2024, including the X9 MPV and a large new sedan. The company also announced the acquisition of the EV business of Chinese ride-hailing giant Didi Global and plans to launch a new brand, codenamed Mona, in 2024. The first model under the Mona program, an A-segment smart EV, is scheduled for release in 2024. Liotto, on the other hand, is gearing up to launch several new models in 2024. In addition to the current three extended range electric vehicle, EREV, models, Li L9, Li L8, and Li L7, and the upcoming Li Mega MPV, the company plans to introduce four new models next year. These include the Li L6 EREV and three battery electric vehicle, BEV, models, bringing the total number of models to eight by the end of 2024. Li Auto's 2024 sales forecast for the Li Mega is set at 80,000 units, with close to 150,000 units projected for all four BEV models combined. During a strategy meeting ahead of China's early October National Day holiday, Li Auto Management announced an ambitious sales target of more than 3 million units by 2028. 
The report notes that such aggressive growth projections are rare in the industry, especially considering the auto's reliance on ARREVs and the unproven market for pure electric MPVs. Despite these challenges, the auto's October performance was impressive, with 40,422 vehicle deliveries, surpassing the 40,000 mark for the first time. This marked a 302.13% YLY increase and a 12.1% MOM increase. For the January-October period, the auto delivered 284,647 vehicles, representing a remarkable 193.51% YLY increase. The report concludes that the auto's success in the electric MPV market remains to be seen, but the company has more leverage than its peers. The auto plans to officially launch the Limega in December, with availability in stores starting in January 2024 and deliveries commencing in February. In summary, the sales forecasts provided by NEO, Xpeng, and the auto for 2024 indicate their respective expectations for growth in the coming year. While these forecasts serve as a reference point, market conditions and the company's ability to adapt to changing dynamics will ultimately influence their actual sales performance. The reports also highlight key developments, such as NEO's restructuring, Xpeng's new models and brand acquisition, and the auto's expansion into the electric MPV market. So, this is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the news. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section and make sure to subscribe to the channel.